Mike, back to Dr. Mike. Dr. Reacts to the more medical memes. Hilarious. Shock. Back with the medical memes, y'all. Turn it down a little bit. Or a lot of it. Wild right. medical memes. But lately, you've been slacking. Most of the memes you send me are a little too mindful. A little too demure. Huge thanks to Quest Nutrition for sponsoring today's video. But I'll be right back. Let me go seek in the chip. Let me go. Uh, 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 talk, 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 talk. I am dying. 911, let me see. Bro, let me pause the video. <laughs> All right, hold up. I'll let this part out. All right, I'm back. Had to get my cheese curls. Thanks for reminding me, Doctor Mike. You're looking at guy. No, I'm literally. Let me see what. My ass off, tag me. And he's playing solitaire. 911 shouldn't be talking about memes. You have to be supportive. 911 talks about memes. This could mean that you're sending someone a meme. This is a deep one. Do babies grow on their own, or do we need to interact with them? I forgot to look at the name, and I was genuinely concerned. You can't talk to a baby like a baby. <laughs> they thought you had to plan. Because look, 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 their brains are like sponges, bro. Everything you say, they're going to develop into their brain. So if you call your mom by her first name, they're going to start calling their mom by their first name. It's like soil and allow them to flourish through photosynthesis. I turn up music because I'm partially deaf. I'm partially deaf because I turn up the music. Yes, yes, yes. If there was a more accurate meme, I don't know. The reason this meme is so I'm accurate good. is because so many of us listen to music on full blast, especially with in-ear headphones, audio canceling, noise canceling headphones. So we just hear the music. And if you listen to anything over like 60-ish percent, you're damaging your eardrums. Look at how quickly you can develop eardrum damage, tympanic membrane damage, based on the decibels and how long you need to be exposed to said sound. No. Peebus, food grade, just fizz. Pepsi. What's Peebus? Is this an actual drink? Or is it just fizzy? Kinger, Kurger? Burger King. I'm confused. Is this just like, is this what people with dyslexia see when they see a Pepsi? Am I missing something, Sam? Worst pinata ever. I just had three of these removed because the, they were uh, coming for me. For those that's who the uh, 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 bee hive. Oh, this is some kind of bee wasp nest. Beehive? Wasp hive? Is it a wasp hive? Or do wasp hives live in beehives? Do you think a wasp can go and mix it up? Yeah, wasp like, will probably won't go in a beehive. It'll probably mistake it as a wasp hive. There's a difference. Because the wasps and bees are different. They're two flying insects, but they have like different purposes. Wasps is just to be annoying and bees to pollinate the air. And put a pollen uh, on flowers, so they might the wall they might mistake each other. Queen bees, I think they're very. Customized. I think queen bees only interested in one creature. Jay Z. Let it sink in. Let it sink in. Queen bee. Yes. Worst pinata ever, followed by the worst joke ever. What the predator sees after 15 seconds of chasing. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know, the predator can see inside of you thermal imaging so it can catch you in the forest. But now it can catch your psoriatic arthritis <laughs> or rheumatoid arthritis. And I say that it's autoimmune arthritis because it's polyarticular, which means that it's like old. Joints. polyarticular. In other words, Stop you're old. Dieting, start farting. And that's the way you get ripped. It's a little gassy monster, just like bear. Y'all ever just say F it and eat it with the shell? No. I can't.
Hey, man, you got too late to open it up, bro. That man got way too late to open that joint up. It's sunflower seeds, maybe, but not. It's a Big Mac paper. Don't eat paper. I had no idea you could buy this. I've just been using chocolate and Netflix. Wait for you. <laughs> I've been just using hmm. puppy slobber and dog kisses. And Ooh. never hurts to have a good protein chip. Mm. Mm. Have some junk food. Yeah. My head hurts, my throat's scorched, and I have terrible taste in my mouth. Man, we got lit last night. <laughs> Oh, also, you got carved. And if you get carved and lit, you and then they go to work the next day. And then the female go to work the next day like nothing happened. Put them in the military. Same night? Medically, not compatible with life. This is how you make the neon green. <laughs> the neon green. The neon green. It's the first pun. No, I get it. I got right away. <laughs> Verde. How you make neon green? Sam Bowers, if you're in this Discord, your life needs to be consuming Dr. Mike videos 24-7. Turn it on your phone, TVs, tablets, watches, you name it. Whoa! We got Mama Dr. Jones on the telly, Brandon Marshall on the laptop, gaming on the other laptop, a little kitty watching Hi, Nintendo Marshall. Switch. Oh, and Mama Dr. Jones on the lower laptop, and on the iPad, we got a medical memes. You know what? I approve of this image. Sam, did you really write it? That's really sweet, actually. You're fine! When I start seeing Christmas decorations in early <laughs> seriously. Hey, start getting fat, bro. Before, before Thanksgiving, bro, it's crazy. Though, at least to me. If you start playing Christmas music and start doing Christmas decorations before Thanksgiving, you're crazy. Bro, you just gonna skip over Halloween and Thanksgiving? Don't put Tabasco in your eye because it's real. People gonna start putting my Christmas tree bin up all year long. Ever since last year, I never took it down. So I don't gotta put it back up. <laughs> Come on, man. Really good for the capsaicin doesn't the eyes. That's why if you're eating like spicy food and you rub your eyes, oh boy, that's a disaster. Lots of watering, lots of histamine response. Ooh, man, about to cry. If overthinking was a workout, oh my. My brain God. is burning calories. Yeah, man, my brain start burning calories, bro. I would have an eight. I would have a forehead and an eight pack. No, I would have even like oblique muscles because you know sometimes when I get angry you've seen it You've seen that vein come out. Let me put that vein on their abdomen too. Hope everyone is enjoying the Weekend. Long weekend. <laughs> I see you've been stabbed. Oh my god, skip it. Thank you. Sorry about Mikula. I know you drink that, Dr. Mike. Yes, please help. Are you sure that's what's causing the problem? Because I was looking at your BMI. Huh? Is this like a judgment joke? Oh, bear came in. Come say hi to me. Come on up. Oh, he's bread. That's a bear! You can't have my Quest protein chips. Sorry, bear. Not for you. Not for you. I don't understand this meme, bear. It should have been like, please help. And it's like, Oh my God, you really do need help. Yes, I've been stabbed. Oh no, I was talking about your BMI. That's, I just mean fact checked you. Elizabeth Stanton slash Elizabeth movies. Nah, man, night shift is pretty easy. Derek age 24, oh my God. You could see the wear and tear that waking up at 7 p.m. has caused on Derek. Not only are there conditions related to working a night shift, like night shift work disorder. There is? But there's also evidence that those who work night shifts have more health problems in general. If you have they a choice do. and you don't love working night shifts, I think the healthier choice is to work during the day. But you know, there are some services that require someone to be at night. And there are certain people who based on their chronotype prefer to be up at night. Matthew Walker and I actually talked about this in a whole video. Burrito. Ew. Ew. As I saw that image, I thought about licking my finger. And then I was I like, look kind of oh. good. You don't think about it as a foot. You look kind of good. Oh, you don't want to do that. But ew! I'm Sweater thinking about it on the foot now. Some guys sometimes. Brother, ew. Ew. <laughs> I can barely sleep. There's fun guys sometimes. Ugh. Brother, ew. Humans, I can barely sleep at night. Also, humans before sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Not just light, massive anxiety, stimulant substances, explosions and loud noises, naps close to bedtime, huge meals. These are all things that can hurt a good night's sleep. Just before you die, swallow a whole bag of popcorn kernels. Your cremation will be epic. <laughs> oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. 
I feel like cremation happens at like over a thousand degree temperatures. And I'm like, I'm Bro, you're, oh, your body's starting to popcorn. But I want to be kettle corn. I don't want to be no popcorn. 100% fish free wild caught microplastic. Not great. Honestly, that's these days is a sad reality that there's a lot of microplastics in the foods we're consuming. The solution for which I do not currently have. She donated 30 inches of her hair to make wigs for children with cancer. Aww. Now, some poor kid has to be a ginger on top of having kids. That's messed up. <laughs> oh, I did not feel that coming. Sam, did that one burn you? Uh, did it burn me? Because mm -hmm. of my beard? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I, I can't handle it. Okay, it's yeah, but you just dye it. You can just dye it black. Thing for people to write mean things about people's hair color. Making my famous BBQ dry. Dry rip. Why? <laughs> why? An eraser! Are you, you. I would advise against doing this. That's rubber. That is not digestible material. That can cause an intestinal blockage. You know what can happen? God, I forgot the name of the exact term. It's when you get like this constellation of hair, maybe other substances that are indigestible and they cause like this bolus. A bezoar. Hair mixed with rubber and some other contents is called a bezoar. Four sneezes in a row is clout chasing, get it together. <laughs> it really <laughs> is. It's not clout chasing, it's like attention seeking behavior. The mom's always got a long pause in between though, so it's different. A two. Not like a two minute pause. My brain when I read the word hippocampus. Hip, hip, hiccup. <laughs> hiccup. Facts. It's in the brain. That's all you need to know. You're good. Otherwise, I always think good. of this when I, when I hiccup, when I have a hiccup. The definition, if you like to read it, but just know that has nothing to do with college and has nothing to do with the hippopotamus. Having a deconstructed Diet Coke. Diet Coke, caffeine free, <laughs> caffeine pills. That's a lot. That's like huh? the other day I heard someone say like a-, a What's the difference between Diet Coke and regular Coke? What's the difference? I never understood the difference. They try to make it healthier, but it's the same thing. <laughs> trying to fool people, bro. Which is like you take a nap and you have an espresso so that when you wake up from the nap, it takes like 30 minutes for the caffeine to so you get like double the rest because your body clears the adenosine, which makes you feel more alert. And then your body also blocks the adenosine receptors with the caffeine as well. Kind of interesting. We'll see the baby in a minute. Your plan doesn't cover the ad free version. <laughs> ah, it's so sad that the EKG strip is so inaccurate. And why is there dynamite behind the EKG? Well, that's a little weak. Ah! I'm never lonely because I got these little guys with me. <laughs> What's that? Uh, you know, it happens to me too, and I don't even have a good answer. Floaters? I, I don't know. The little squids that hang out. It's, medically, I'm not saying it right, but it's. Funny. Oh, you wrote those on the wall here, boy. Get shot here. They're required to keep it to themselves for a while. Later in the movie, they must open their shirt jacket, revealing an alarming amount of blood, followed by another character saying, "You're hurt. This is law." How do you not notice getting shot in the abdomen? It's like one of the most painful places to have a trauma. Although, you know, the retroperitoneum, like that specific area of your abdominal. I don't need you no more. Can actually hold a lot of blood without you realizing that the person's bleeding. Very interesting. Vitamin B12, intestine, intrinsic factor. I don't get oh, it. Oh, word. You need intrinsic factor to be produced in order for your body to be able to mm. get the B12. And sometimes, B12. I believe it's called pernicious anemia, where you lack intrinsic factor and therefore develop anemia due to a lack of B12. Should I fact check myself? Pernicious anemia is a type of B12 deficiency anemia that occurs in the body, doesn't produce enough intrinsic factor, a protein that helps the body absorb. <sighs> Not even a hematologist off the bat knew that. It's weird that after 10 years of practicing medicine, I'm excited the fact that I knew a fairly common condition. I fairly did. common in the sense of like, it's tested often. I should have known that and I shouldn't be as excited as I am, but maybe it's because I have- you're cold in, bro? How'd you get when you turn like 45 or 50? Uh, excuse me. I got my vasectomy done at Claire's. It's a vasectomy. <laughs> no, yes, the, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the, uh, 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 the thing I was talking about, vasectomy. When you get at the age 45 or 50, they go inside, they put a needle up your um booty, up your booty hole, and they get to see your colon and whatnot. For the years, and then they went to the vast deference. <laughs> Let's just say the work they do at Claire's is vast, vastly different than what they used to do with ears.
Now it's not about holes. What's about? It's about ectomies. Damn it, I couldn't find that landing. Huh? <sighs> I don't get it. Slay bells ring. Are you listening? Chest is tight. Nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin is a vasodilator. Helps open up blood vessels so that you could perfuse certain parts of your body that are very important, like the heart. And we need to give this medication. And it's one of the more important times you need to be honest with your doctor and tell them if you're taking Sildenafil, also known as Viagra, also known as a BDE5 inhibitor. You know what's not very mindful, not very demure? This episode of House MD, it's literally- All right, shout out to Mike.